major trauma and the multiple injuries this is very 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 important uh, subject and uh, in this playlist we will take all body trauma major trauma and multiple injuries head injury chest injury abdominal injuries wound burn shock hemorrhage therefore uh, this uh, very very uh, long subject uh, will be discussed in about uh, 50 uh, videos uh, in our course uh, first of all um, major trauma and multiple injuries are common causes of mortality in civilian life and sure during war time why this uh, subject is important due to its incidence major trauma is the commonest cause of death in age from one year to 44 year and in general in all ages it is the third common cause of this what is the etiology of major trauma and injuries we can divide the, the etiology into penetrating injury and the blunt injury penetrating injury is divided into low velocity injury and the high velocity injury low velocity injury as a step or bullet from a pistols in this case in low velocity injury the injury is localized only to the track inside the body and therefore it is a localized injury to the site of penetration in contrast to high velocity injury in high velocity injury as firearms from a refiles in this case sure there is injury localized to the track of penetration but the more dangerous is shock waves shock waves spread from the track of the missile leading to wide area of injuries and wide areas of damage around the penetrating tract therefore the shock waves may produce injury more than the penetrating tract this is the penetrating injury low velocity and high velocity injury there is blunt injury what is uh, the typical blunt injury this what is this road traffic accident or direct blow by blunt object or falling from a height in case of road traffic uh, accidents the road traffic accident may occur in this in this pedestrian if a pedestrian is struck by a moving vehicle by a moving vehicle there is blunt injury plus acceleration injury the speed of the car leading to injury more than the direct trauma by the car the pedestrian may be the victim or the victim may be the person inside the car 
The person inside the car will take the speed and the same velocity of the car. And we can divide the driver into one of two persons. If he is not wearing the seat belt, if he is not wearing the seat belt, the person or the driver will be impacted and the strike against the parts of the car. If the patient or the victim wearing the seat belt, this will lead to seat belt injury. Seat belt injury leading to injury of the skin in contact with the seat belt or injury from above downward, fracture clavicle, injury to thoracic wall or thoracic organs, and the part of the seat belt pass in the abdomen, leading to abdominal injury. Um, this is a cause of injury in case of trauma and the major accidents. What is the danger of this major trauma? Sure, the danger of this trauma is death. This can be classified in major trauma into three parts. Immediate death, which occur within minutes or even seconds, and early death, which occur within few hours, and the late death, which occur within few weeks. Let us think uh, with uh, each other. What is the cause of immediate death within few minutes of the accidents? In uh, major accident, we should always put on mind A, B, C, D, E. A is the airway. The airway is the most important. And the usual common cause of early immediate death. Airway obstruction or major injury of the airway leading to this within few minutes. This is the airway. B, breathing. Therefore, airway and the breathing is the commonest cause of this due to airway obstruction or major injuries of the airway. Anything interfere with breathing or the airway leading to immediate death. C is the circulation. Circulation, what is the cause of this in circulation? Interruption of circulation by poof, rupture of the heart or rupture of main vessels like thoracic or abdominal aorta. Uh, D is disability. What you think, uh, why disability may occur? CNS, major injury of the brain and upper part of the spinal cord. Upper part of the spinal cord before the origin of phrenic nerve. Above the origin of phrenic nerve, which supplies the diaphragm, and upper spinal cord injury, above the nerve supply of the intercostal muscles, sure paralysis of the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, leading to interfere with breathing and immediate death. Therefore, 
immediate uh, this which occur within few minutes you should uh, keep in your mind a b c d airway and breathing remember airway obstruction and the major injury of the airway as rupture lung pneumothorax etc uh, c circulation rupture heart or major vessels d disability like major brain injury or injury of the upper part of the spinal cord which lead to interfere with breathing due to paralysis of all respiratory muscles early this which will occur within few minutes occur why hemorrhage from above downward intracranial intrathoracic intra-abdominal hemorrhage or fracture pelvis and the fracture femur which lead to massive hemorrhage therefore always remember in early days just only one word hemorrhage intracranial thoracic abdominal fracture pelvis and the spine and the femur um let this within few weeks let this within a few weeks usually occur due to sepsis as a complication of injuries and uh, multiple organ failure multiple organ failure is a sequel of severe hemorrhage and shock uh, these are the causes of uh, this um, management of uh, multiple injuries uh, just we take in this video just introduction in the management um, sure victims of multiple injuries and the major injuries should be treated by well-trained trauma team and the major accident and major trauma may be massive casualty like accident of trains or earthquakes etc in this uh, massive injuries and the victims are hundred of victims we should consider the policy of triage what is meant by triage triage means sorting of the patient according to their diagnosis in one hand and the available resources in the hospital in the other hand how there are two possibility if there is a large well equipped hospital in one hand and receiving the number of victims and the number of victims doesn't exceed the facilities sure this well equipped hospital will treat all the victims but is usually in massive casualty the number of victims exceed the facilities in the nearby hospital and in this case in this case we will treat the patients which has a possibility to survive therefore if the number of victims exceed the facilities the critically injured most likely to survive are treated first this is just introduction and the method of management of uh, multiple injured uh, patient uh, will be discussed in the following videos Thank you for good listening and good luck.